Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're taking a look at iOS 13.1 developer beta 2 and by the way public beta testers this is out for you as well so if you're in the public beta testing program you can download iOS 13.1 beta 1 which is the same as developer beta 2. Now over the past 24 hours I've come across a ton of fixes in iOS 13.1 the latest beta and I wanted to share those with you guys of course I'm also going to be sharing with you guys additional new features and changes that I've come across after using the software for 24 hours let's dive right in first let's go ahead and talk about some of the bug fixes in ios 13.1 developer beta 1 when you went to quick reply on a message this would actually freeze some iphones now it is working properly you can reply and you can actually close the quick reply easily if you want it won't freeze your iphone in the apple music i've noticed that the lyrics are syncing properly to the actual music this was an issue in beta 1 where it wasn't syncing properly in some songs now it looks to be addressed on the latest beta now there's also some fix to the actual wallpaper so when you went to apply wallpaper or readjust the wallpaper in previous betas in beta 1 here this wasn't working properly so if we go to wallpapers here and try to apply this wallpaper you see that we can't really zoom in and out and actually adjust the wallpaper and on the latest beta everything is working just as it is intended in this beta we also have some fixes to the sharing options if you did not catch my initial coverage on this beta here in beta 1 when you went to share an actual actual image here you see that the actual suggestions were not present there was a bug there it is fixed here on the latest beta and when we go to the airplay or airdrop options here we see that the actual devices show ios 13 wallpapers instead of ios 12 and everything has been updated and refined there as well so a ton of bugs the software feels just like night and day from beta 1 to beta 2. now there's also minor ui changes here as well for example if we 3d touch here on the tv icon you see that when we 3D touch in beta 1, the actual app rearranging menus appear on the bottom in beta 2, while they appear on the top in beta 3. So Apple just continues to play around with the menus and 3D touch platters. The icons got readjusted and make slightly larger in some cases. If we go to the actual Apple Music, you see that some of these icons have been refined and made a little larger as well. And again, this is throughout the entire OS. Taking a look here at photos, we have the share options, the heart, and the trash. The icons are slightly larger there as well. So Apple continues to make slight changes to iOS 13.1. The software feels great. Everything is smooth as intended. Even switching through AirPlay devices seems a lot smoother for whatever reason. Everything is great. So I'm very, very happy to report that from beta 1 to beta 2, it is an entirely new experience. And of course, you can anticipate my follow-up video here in the next couple of days where I talk about the battery and the overall performances and any additional new features that I may come across within the next couple of days. You can expect that video here shortly. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.